Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video We're gonna be talking about some more details regarding the December 2019 update for Grand Theft Auto Online now about two weeks ago We actually covered some insider details about that supposed DLC Talking about what Rockstar could do how many months they've likely been developing it Will it feature cut content if you missed that video? I will leave a link to it in the description it's sort of a good base before getting into what we're going to be discussing in today's video. And just like that previous video, this information comes from insider Tez Funds 2 who posted this the other day on the next DLC speculation topic for Grand Theft Auto Online. He said, now that I think about it, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be coming out possibly in December and Rockstar Editor will be a part of it. It's common for developers to make use of opportunities like this to improve the same feature in another title. I assume we would see improvements or new additions to the Rockstar Editor with the next update. And that post right there also supports something that Insider Tez Funds 2 said a couple of weeks ago before any of the reports and details surrounding the Red Dead Redemption 2 PC version ended up surfacing. Remember this, which was posted on August 13th? He said, the weird thing is that Rockstar is yet to update QA Beta 2 and 3 on the Steam database. It's like they haven't started working on the next update. That is just a guess because they could have started working on it, but they just didn't bother to update the Steam version. They clearly made a new patch without updating QA Beta 2 and 3 and also pushed several background updates to the game. I just don't think three or four months of development is enough to come up with a big update. That is just my guess, but I think the reason why Rockstar came up with the new changes to the daily objectives is because of the Red Dead Online February update that added daily objectives to the game. I remember talking about Rockstar making adjustments to online objectives back then. Why I'm mentioning this? Well, Rockstar PC release is scheduled for the holiday season, aka December, and it will also include the new Rockstar Editor. So I'm just thinking we could receive major adjustments to the Rockstar Editor with the December update. So again, what he posted about two or three weeks ago matches what we're seeing today. Pretty interesting stuff. So in case you guys have no idea what he's talking about, this is a, another video that we covered the other day. There's a report going around that Rockstar's next title will be Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PC, and it's looking like it will be released in either late 2019 or early 2020 with December being a very likely possibility. And one of the things that will be coming with Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC is the Rockstar Editor, a tool that many of you guys are probably familiar with if you play Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. I sometimes use the Rockstar Editor to get thumbnails for videos. A lot of very talented people in the community use it to make machinimas and short videos and films and just create some really, really cool stuff. It's just a nice little tool to have in game. And it's something that Red Dead Redemption 2 does not have. But again, the report is that it will be coming for the PC version in December. And Tez Funds 2 believes that the updates that Red Dead Redemption 2 gets to the Rockstar Editor will also be added to Grand Theft Auto Online and GTA 5. And this would be a really good change. And it kind of made me think about what other things Rockstar could potentially do. That's one of the big things about the Diamond Casino and Resort update that I liked so much is that it added so many quality of life changes to the game. It's almost like now that Rockstar is five or six years out of making GTA Online updates, now they're finally saying to themselves, okay, Let's take a step back here and see what other improvements or additions we can make to the game that doesn't necessarily revolve around new content, basically quality of life updates. And I think that would be awesome to see in the next Grand Theft Auto Online update, the December 2019 DLC, that if it featured a lot of new quality of life changes and improvements as well. And it looks like additions to the Rockstar Editor will be included in that also. And in case you guys are wondering why Rockstar might be able to do that so seamlessly, Insider Tez Funds 2 also explains this. He says, There are so many GTA 5 leftovers in the RDR2 files. 
RDR2 is like GTA 5 2.0, but with lots of improvements and features, so how deeper it is doesn't matter if the structure is the same. So that's how Rockstar would be able to make those changes simultaneously because their games are so similar. Now we talked about this in a previous video, but I'm sure there's some of you guys that are going to be watching this video wondering, well, when can we expect the December 2019 update? Well, I think it's pretty obvious based off of what Rockstar has done the past four or five years online. It's probably going to be coming out between the second and the third week of December. Like, that's when we've seen all the updates. We know that they don't do it too close to the beginning of the month. And we also know they don't do it too close to the end of the month because that's when Rockstar have always done the holiday Christmas content that includes the snow and any other festive themed content. Now, just based off of what we know from the Diamond Casino and Resort update, there's still 10 drip feed vehicles left. And if Rockstar were to release them one per week without skipping weeks, which is what they've done for the first month, that would mean that the final vehicle would be released on November 7th. And again, that doesn't include all the other content that Rockstar has in the Diamond Casino and Resort drip feed, like the peyote hunt and the uh, impotent rage action figures and the alien survival mode that'll be introduced. So they've still got a lot of content. And we know that just because the drip feed ends doesn't necessarily mean the next day or week Rockstar will add a new DLC. There's typically about a month or two or even sometimes longer grace period where there isn't any new content in online. But that, again, would leave Rockstar plenty of time to basically introduce a December update whenever they want it. Now, the reason I bring up the release date is for a couple of reasons. Number one, a lot of people might already be interested in what's coming up next. Maybe they have exhausted all of their chips. They have done plenty of gambling. They've spun the lucky wheel plenty of times, and they might not be interested in the remaining vehicles, or that's might what they're only interested in is, you know, hopping on every single Thursday or when the tunables are updated to check out what new vehicle was added and maybe some of the bonuses, discounts, sales, and opportunities. But that's about it. They've completed the casino work missions. They've done all the free roam work missions for Miss Agatha Baker. So they're interested in what's coming next. That's one group of people. There's also a lot of things from the Diamond Casino and Resort that apparently will have to wait to be fixed the next update. And one of those in particular is probably the biggest issue circulating around GTA Online right now, and that has to do with the Oppressor. The Oppressor Mark II in general has become incredibly overpowered because you cannot lock on to that vehicle. So one of the most powerful weaponized bikes in the game has become incredibly overpowered because you simply can't really destroy it all that easily. And Insider Tez Funds 2 has some insight on that. He was responding to someone that brought up that issue, and he said, I'm pretty sure they are already aware of the issue, but it needs a new client update. And client update refers to a DLC, something our consoles have to download, and not something that Rockstar can tackle via like a background script. And we see Rockstar use background scripts to fix a lot of the other glitches in the game, like God Mode glitch or duplication glitches, invisibility bugs and stuff like that. But apparently this is one of the things that cannot be fixed with something like that. So that means that in order to fix something like that, Rockstar will have to introduce a new DLC. And unless for whatever reason they decide the glitch is urgent enough that they introduce like a separate downloadable DLC, which we've seen them do in the past, we would have to likely wait until the December update in order to have that fixed. And that's not the only major bug that I feel like Rockstar wants to fix. There's also a lot of issues when Miss Baker is giving out special missions. If you accidentally decline one of her phone calls, there's a chance she never calls you again because the game thinks that you're still on a phone call with her. So there's a lot of little issues like that that I know Rockstar are going to want to tackle, which again means that I think it's way more likely a December update will like 100% be happening, aside from all the other obvious reasons we mentioned and things we also discussed in the first video we did a couple of weeks ago. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think the theme of the December 2019 update is going to be? 
Do you think Rockstar will introduce some brand new content that we've never seen before? Do you think they will bring back some cut content and make it an update out of that? I'm personally excited to see what they do in terms of everything we can buy and maybe a new business and also some of the quality of life changes that are hopefully introduced as well. So let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gone to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos that I'm doing here on the channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube, it just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.